Jenny. Do you want to um, just kind of walk us through the revision assignment that you did with kids? So, this is my turnitin.com assignment, and I, I created it because I really wanted kids to take a great look at their feedback and be able to improve their writing for the future. In the past, kids used to just kind of glance at the comments that I spent hours and hours creating, and then you'd throw it in a pile. Um, and so I just talked to them about how a big important part of writing uh, is actually like noticing what our strengths and our error patterns are and using those to improve our next rights. So I have little sections here um, where they look for their grammar error patterns, they look for how original their words are, like whether they have cliches in their paper or whether they paraphrase properly. Um, they look at the grade that they got and try and figure out a reasoning for why that they got that grade and whether or not they agree with it and why. Um, and they just talk to me overall about how much they like Turnitin.com, um, which I must say, they love it. Are you recording? Okay, yeah. so a lot of people are talking about how much Turnitin.com is cutting their grading time in half. Hasn't necessarily done that for me. However, I still really love it um, because I'm grading the same amount of time, but it's giving kids like five times the amount of feedback. Um, and so when I got kids' comments back from Turnitin.com, they said, you know, this is really amazing because not only does this sound more personal to me, it sounds like an individual meeting, but also, um, I am getting a million different types of feedback to improve my writing in the future. Uh, I also really like it because we used to have kids write some samples and then steal them and they never got to see them again. Now for the next four years, they can look at papers that they did really well and not so well on and use them as examples or what not to do in future years. And it has been fabulous. All right, so if you go to originality check, it'll tell you exactly where the information is the same as somebody else's words. So don't automatically worry about that. I don't automatically worry about that until it hits 35 or 40%. Okay? And so the reason is because you may have paraphrased, um, you may have quoted directly and cited it properly, and those things are all okay. Um, however, if you find that you have whole paragraphs or whole blocks that are paraphrased, it means that you need to do a little bit better in putting things into your own words. Um, so in addition to that, uh, if you have a lot of quotations, it means that you need some more analysis or commentary. So the next thing I want you to do is go to this little button at the bottom of the page. Um, so you have to go to back to grade mark first, and then Kevin, you'll like this analogy. There's something that looks like a Rubik's Cube down here. <laughs> All right, so go one, two, three, four over, and you will see your grade mark. Okay, so last thing. Uh, so this is what's kind of new for people. Um, I gave you guys audio comments. So I actually talked to you about your paper for about three minutes. So it was really weird to come in here this weekend because I was just talking to myself for like 20 hours straight. Um, so I just pretended like you guys were here. Okay, so if you go two boxes over, there's a little comment box. If you click play, I will start to talk with you about your paper. Um, a lot of people have liked this because they've said that it's more personal than just reading their comments. And so we'll see what you guys think. And there's a question on the sheet about that. Do people have headphones with them today? Okay. If you have headphones, um, then I want you to just use your own. But if you need some, I have some up here just to say, yeah, so that I can sit here and help you All right, Erica, what do you like about Turnitin.com? I like the fact that um, our teachers can take more time maybe looking over the wording of things and not just the fragments or the runoffs and stuff like that because uh, Turnitin does that automatically. The teachers can go in and say, oh, this was worded weird or you had a, your voice wasn't strong enough here or stuff like that. That's what I really liked about it. And also, I like the fact that... Um, you have no excuse for not turning it in because you can't say, oh, we didn't have class that day. You just, because it's online, you turn in what, by the due date. And I also really like, 
I like the fact that our teachers can also enjoy their weekends and get everything done and also get it done like really well. And so that's what I like about turnin.com. All right, Janet, so can you compare and contrast old school grading to grading with turnitin.com? Uh, yeah, so old school grading, it was um, it was a lot, there's more of a process, like um, it took a lot more time versus turn it in. Um, it's, it's more quick, especially for the teacher to get your feedback back to you, um, so you can kind of edit and revise what you're saying. Um, also, it's, uh, it gives good suggestions. Um, so, like, you have the voice comments on um, turnitin.com, which gives a nice personal touch to what you need to know about. Right, Christina, what do you like about turnitin.com? I really like that, like, it just does it all. It doesn't miss anything, and it gives really good feedback, like, what you should do versus, like, just random marks, like, word choice. It actually gives you, like, other words that you can look at or whatever. And then, like... Again, with what Jenna said, it there's a deadline, so you can work on it till like midnight instead of four four p.m. before school ends. And I really like the voice comments, how it's like a mini conference.